Tato! Welcome guys to, as you can tell by the title, to a Mirror's Edge uh, game review, I need to say movie review, but this is the second game review on my channel, obviously the first one being Prey. Um, I just currently did finish uh, playing this one, and uh, I did previous play it bef previously play it before, and uh, I really got caught up into the game with doing other stuff than the main mission. I didn't really enjoy it, and yeah, I really did hate it on the first time playing it. But then I played it properly this time, and it's not a bad game. It is not a bad game jumping into it, but. But the nostalgia from the first one, the free running, and how it just makes you feel like you was a runner in the game, and how great it made you feel while playing as that character, making you think you was on the rooftops, jumping over everything. It was kind of like that with this one, but this game to me, it did feel like really. Uh, if I look at Dark and Mirror's Edge, in my opinion, the way it was just set out to be. I mean, but look, the plot of the game really is obviously you're playing once again as Faith from the original Mirror's Edge. And um, yeah, but the storyline feels like totally different. I don't know whether they try to remaster the storyline. I'll have to check up on it, but I think they've remastered the storyline because. Um, when they were kids, her sister Kat got some to do with gas and all that, and just the way it all turned out, like in the original, she was a copper. So how does that work? And like in this, you see Kat again, and it's just she's not a copper, and it's like have they remastered the storyline, or I don't know. But yeah, like I said, you start off the game as Faith, you're in juvie, so don't know how old she is. She must be about 17, 18. Um, yeah, but she's in juvie and she gets let out because um, there's a thing in the game where you can unlock the comic book and it will tell you about the story. But uh, she got put into juvie for, for trying to find uh, some about her sister and stuff like that and something to do with the gas and all that stuff. And then she got put into juvie and then she come out because the mission she was doing the bloke for that she got put into juvie for, he she owes him a debt for when he comes out so that's not too good for her but that's the way the game kicks off i'm not really going to get too much into that plot of the game because i don't want to ruin it for you guys but to me like i said at the start i rushed into the side quest straight away into this game and the first time i played it which was a big mistake um or like every time you run into a main objective, you do every single sort of objective on the way, and that kind of kills the game out because the game itself it has a nine to ten hour story campaign, and then during the solo quest it jumps up to about twenty or thirty hours, and it bores you out really quick. So if you do play this game, I definitely do recommend playing through the story first and doing all the solo quests after. I mean, a lot of games get fun. Like I've been playing a lot of Saints Row Four. And you can do all the side quests on that because it's just fun as hell because it's a strange game. <laughs> but, but I do recommend if you do play this game, definitely play through the side missions. Not the side, the side missions last, leave them last, but get the collectible stuff if you run past them. But definitely do the main missions first, that is my big thing about this game. And the game felt really dark, the story felt dark. like. In the first one, they seemed happy to be run runners, and in this one, it's just so dark and down because they've been restricted to not being allowed to run on buildings, and they get chased down and everything in the story, and it's just mental. So you don't see a single smile in the game or anything until the end. It just felt felt really, really dark. I mean, it was all right, but for it to live up to the original, it didn't hit it. Um, I would have loved to see this game in third person, yeah you see it in third person every now and then when, with the attacks, but I would have liked to see this game in third person, but I would like to see them maybe remaster the first one, but for VR. If they can do that, they can smash it. Bring out the first one again, or maybe another Mirror's Edge, but do it for VR and try and do how the first one was. Um, 
I love the open world feel of it. It felt really cool because it felt like you was a runner to do whatever you want. But like I said, it was the side quest that let this down a lot to me. It was the if you get caught up in the side quest, the game can get boring because the campaign itself is so so long. Um, but yeah. It was a good game overall, like I said, it was a good game, like, the storyline was different, it was a darker storyline, I do like darker storylines compared to when it's a sequel to a game, I like a different storyline and an impact on the character, because in the first one you didn't get much Faith's background that much, in this one you get into the emotional side of Faith, like how she lost her sister and how she's impacting it, she remembers it every day and why she's so down all the time and I did enjoy this game. Um, I enjoyed it that much, I'm going to give it an, a, lot, a lot of salt to give it like 6 out of 10, I'll give it an 8 potatoes out of 10, um, because I did love the nostalgia from the first one, but like I said, the side quests did let it down that tiny, tiny bit, um, but that was about it for me, I loved the game in every other single way, but um, yeah, let me know guys what you thought of the game, comment down below what rating you would give it. Um, share your potato rating down below uh, give it a rating out of 10 potatoes um, but yeah like I said I'm going to give it an 8 potatoes out of 10 um, if you could smash 20 likes for this video that would be amazing make sure you also hit that subscribe button and join the potato men on me today and yeah um, also don't forget to hit the notification button I will have a video out after this also with a movie review and then I might try and get a different sort of gameplay video out tomorrow along with Resident Evil so I can have two gameplay videos running alongside each other maybe but um, yeah but once again um, make sure you check out all my social media links down below make sure you also definitely check out Freedom to find their link down below they are free network and amazing and yeah boys um, I'm really looking excited as well um, maybe so when I get paid I'm trying to sort my room out and soon I really want to try and get a webcam so I can start live streaming for you guys but like I said if I can get a game running alongside with Resident Evil I currently have just joined a beta for Remothered's Tormented what is it a sec just let me look Remothered Tormented Fathers I've just joined the beta I think only like 10,000 people got to play the beta and I got into it so I might end up recording that and chucking out alongside Resident Evil so there's a different gameplay there for you guys so it's not just resi and stuff like that so yeah don't forget if you did enjoy smash that like button subscribe if you're new join the time army i've been dominating sport i love you potato man army and like always don't forget to stay sarchy